everybody, Jeff here, and welcome to Astra's Valorant Agent lore video. I searched everywhere to find all I could about the backstory of Astra, like how she may have harnessed her abilities to become a Radiant, where she comes from, and who on the Valorant Protocol she does not trust. So everyone, leave a like if you're excited, and subscribe if you like these lore videos, so the odds they get recommended to you from YouTube will increase. Also, by the way, guys, I'm sorry if I sound different. I'm pretty sick when filming this, so I apologize. Well, let's start things off as we always do with where and when Astra is born. So Astra's hometown is Accra, which is the capital city for the country of Ghana. I'm pretty sure I butchered those. Now, the rich African culture of her home country resonates in Astra's clothing and personality. The way she braids her hair represents her culture according to her lore, and her heavy accent is brilliantly portrayed in the voice lines we get in game. Relax, my friends. Time and space, uh, <laughs> they know what you think. Why would anyone agree to work in this cold place? <laughs> She's a spunky, energetic girl that seems to be in her mid to late 20s as we don't actually get a birthday for her. But she loves to have some friendly banter with people she is close with, and the sarcasm is freaking amazing. <laughs> what up, suckers? You okay? I like flowers and stuff, but this place no get flavor. No gold. Where's the size? The bling blings. Come on. We'll get into all the great voice lines where she just pokes fun of other agents. It's honestly hilarious. But other than that, we don't get much information on her childhood at all, really. Unless if you want to talk about how she may have obtained her radiant powers. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's do that. Well, there is a couple clues that tells us how she may have gotten them, but I do have my suspicions because so far it's not officially stated as canon. Well, not anymore at least. Well, let me explain. So a while ago when Astro was released and being promoted as an upcoming agent in Valorant, a company that works with Riot Games posted an article about Astra, stating that she managed to get her powers from an ancient spirit in the Lake Bosumtui. Now you won't be able to find the article anymore, well at least I wasn't able to since it's been removed and taken down. Well, sounds like Riot didn't really want that to be true or didn't want that information being released just yet. But most people brush it off as it not being true and just made up. Well, all was quiet until chapter two released for Astra's contracts. And well, look what we have here. We have a cosmic looking Astra clearly being displayed over what looks like to be either a human figure or a diamond like shape hovering over a lake. So now that that theory of what that company said in the article makes a whole lot more sense since now that we got this player card looks a lot like the origins on how she got her powers to me above that lake. What do you guys think? BYB fam, going to Astral to do them Astral Guardian things I do. Now what is canon is that we know her powers are contained within her purple cosmic gold plated arm thing and with the theory that she obtained her powers via the ancient spirit in the lake does that make astra an actual radiant like the rest that got their powers from radiant knight i'm confused with that to be honest well if the theory is all wrong and she didn't get her powers from a spirit and not radiant knight then it's likely she's a radiant like the rest instead anyways did you guys know that astra's favorite meal is jollof yeah you're probably wondering what that is and i was too well it's a west african rice dish usually made with tomatoes onions spices and some veggies pretty cool mine is just a burger let's get into some extremely interesting pieces of lore i found with astra interacting with other agents on the valorant protocol and no i'm not talking about her and breach getting together to build a uh, honestly lovely snowman before astra inhumanely removes its head with their powers i'm talking about how astra simply does not like trust or want to cooperate with reyna and we can see this in some great voice lines where she calls reyna a creature reyna just stay in your lane yawa girl waste that reyna creature end her waste that reyna guys before she beast mode that creature is dead so as you can see even when reyna is on the same team fighting to either defend our earth or fight to steal radiant knight to take back to mirror earth she just hates her. I wonder if she sees something other people don't, perhaps when she's in her astral form. Now, besides Reyna, I really don't find anyone else Astra dislikes on Valorant. I mean, she does make fun of Brimstone, but I think it's more so just her having fun and the friendly banter I was talking about earlier. This Brimstone's got a space satellite, eh? Ha! Let's stick that Yankee down into the earth. 
Okay, like I'm done playing nice with old Yankee boy. Take that boomer soldier boy out. Bye-bye, boomer. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, it doesn't seem malicious, I would say. Just maybe a little annoyed, but all in good fun, I think. Now, I think Astra really likes pretty much all the girls on the Valorant Protocol. She considers them all her friends and makes comments all the time joking with them or hyping them up in other ways. Kill Joyo! The industrious leaves a legacy. <laughs> What's up, Killjoy? You and your little Akuko crushed it. Let's make that Killjoy's toys look as dumb as her jacket, eh? Well, apparently she doesn't like her jacket. <laughs> well, here's some voice lines of her good friend, Raze. Hey, Raze, what up, my queen? Make we go show them how it's done, girl. Raze, I love your boom style, my girl. Raze, it's time to get cray cray, my girl. Mad love, Sage. Come on, girl. That win's gonna be worth a smile. Stay safe, Sage. I got you. See, even Sage and Astra get along great. Well, everyone loves Sage, so it shouldn't really be hard to like her. Well, Viper hates Sage. <laughs> well, speaking of Viper, here's what Astra thinks about Viper. Uh, Viper, what's your problem, girl? Who caused you such rage? I've told you. You are better than all this, Viper. Share your heart, eh? So, looks like yet another person on the protocol thinks Viper is just ruthless and should use her brilliant mind for good instead of, well, what she usually does. Now, moving on, I quickly want to talk about how truly powerful Astra must be to literally control the cosmos. Now, I know I say this in like every Valorant Lord video I make and you guys have found that and commented on that, but like, come on guys, Astra has to be like one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful agent in Valorant. Like, I know Sage can revive people from the dead and Omen can teleport his body, but come on, the freaking cosmos? Like, she has the ability to escape her body and live on another plane of reality and give birth to new stars on the battlefield and control them really at her will. And I don't know if you ever looked up when she unleashes her cosmic divide, but like, damn, that thing goes up to the freaking sky dare I say as high as the cosmos? <laughs> but even when she's in the astral plane, she can still hear what's going on around her in her meditating state on the ground, meaning she technically has a consciousness in two realities at once, which is pretty mind-blowing if you ask me. Now, something I thought that was pretty funny though was how pissed Astra gets when she sees her double from Mirror Earth. Hey, other Astra, if you know what I know, eh, then what are you doing? Yeah, well, come on, clear off. Well, guys, let me know what you think about Astra and who do you want to see in the next Valorant Agent lore video? I'm sorry I was sick when filming this. I hope that didn't hurt your enjoyment of the video at all. Leave a like and subscribe notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jippy out.